Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to take a backup of your SQL database on Azure storage container. So you can do it in two ways. Either you can back it up using the shared access signature or you can back it up using the access keys. So for this demo, I have created a storage account named Technology, and under this storage account, I've created a container named Backup. So let's start with the first method of shared access signature. On my SQL, the database I'm going to backup is Tushar DB. And the first step would be creating a credentials. So if you check under this, it does not show you any credentials. So this is the query which I'm going to execute in SQL. So the query is create credentials. This is the path, my storage container name and the, I'm sorry, the storage account name and the container name. And this is the shared access signature. To find this, we go to the Azure portal. On the storage account, we go down to shared access signature. With shared access signature, you can assign more specific permissions. Let's say only read or only write or only delete. So let's go ahead with these permissions for now. And let's choose the validity. For now, let's choose anything, any date in the month of February. And then I click on generate SAS and connection keys. So there are connection strings, there is SAS token and so many other things. But what we are concerned about is a SAS token. So let's copy it. Let's go back to our query. And the SAS token part, I'm going to delete the existing one and paste the new one. So one correction you need to do, you need to remove the question mark. This is important. I have spent hours figuring it out why my SAS token is not working. The problem was question mark. So make sure you remove it. So this is my query, create credential, storage account name, the container name, Copy this, I am going to SQL, I paste it and I click on execute. Okay, so now if I repress security, I see something has been created under this, yes. So now let's try backing it up. Backup, URL is already selected. This case, if you are backing it up on a local drive or on a network drive, but in case of Azure, we are choosing URL. So in the drop down, it shows me the list of Azure storage container, which has, which has been defined here. And since the credentials have already been defined, it does not need the password. So let's click on OK. Let's click on OK. Backup of database Tushar DB completed successfully. So let's go to this location and check. This is my storage container. This is the folder. Okay, I see it here. So SAS storage access signature the type of backup would be block blob. So one thing to remember with SAS signature, it's block blob and there is a limit of 200 GB. Now I'm going to show you how to backup the database with access key. With access key, the backup type will be page blob and it has a limit of one TB. So This is my query. Let's copy it. And I paste it here. And where do you find this key? 
go back to the storage container access keys so I click on show keys you can use key 1 or key 2 anything is fine so you don't have to choose the validity or information it remains the same so it starts with 8a I believe it's the same yes so let's execute this so let's refresh this okay I see two of those so for shared access signature we went to backup but this method allows only for backup using shared access signature so let's cancel it out let's cancel this out I will be executing the query backup the database name to shardb the URL is this when you are backing up with access key you need to specify the backup name also so it's the storage account followed by container followed by the backup name with credentials this is access key so name of the credentials access key when we ran the query this is what we defined the name of the credential storage account and the key so let's go ahead and back it up query successful so let's go to the storage container okay so this is the first one done using shared access signature and this is block blob this is the second one backed up with access key this is page blob so first one it could not be more than 200 GB however page block can go up to 1 TB so this was my today's video if you found this video useful please like this video and if you have any questions please leave in the comment section below Thank you so much for watching.